So something that's a huge concern in the world, particularly for my kids, but also a lot of the other kids that come and visit Majestic Aquariums, especially during our shark feeding shows. We do shark feeding shows at three o'clock on a Saturday and a Sunday. And one of the biggest questions that the kids ask is what are the sharks names? So anyway, this fella here, her name's Rebel. Oh look, she's pregnant. And she is not pregnant. And then this one here has recently been named Frosty because he is the predecessor to Snowy and it is a white tip reef shark. So he ha she has been named Frosty. Interesting name for a shark, but not as interesting as this one. So this one we were going to name Dr. Rob because we thought it was a cool name and it was going to be named in honor of our fish vet friend Dr. Rob, who is a shark expert. Um, but then we found out that Dr. Rob the shark is actually a girl. So Dr. Rob has now effectively become Dr. Robin because Dr. Rob actually is a girl. So this is Dr. Robin the shark tank. So if you have the shark. So if you have any sick fish, um, Dr. Robin could fix them for you or eat them in other words. But no, we don't really do that because we don't want to feed Dr. Robin sick fish, even though that is one of the shark's jobs in the wild. One of the shark's jobs is making the ocean healthy by ensuring that sick fish don't endure to make other fish sick. They're, because they have an amazing digestive system that allows them in the wild to eat sick fish and not get sick, therefore increasing the health of the ocean playing their part in the ecology of this beautiful world. Anyway, so there you have it. The way that you tell a shark, whether it's a female or a male, is you look under the anal fins, and if there's two little claspers that are on the male, so the male has two little claspers for inseminating the females, and the female does not have two little claspers. So all of my whalers are females, and that would actually be a good idea because their breeding activity in this aquarium could be quite brutal. So I got these sharks from Cairns Marine, and they send me animals that they believe will be appropriate for the tank. So they chose to send me a female, which was probably very good, very good choice to minimize risk, even though it would have been cool if they did breed, but it may have been risky if they, they did breed. So I ended up with female, and therefore we have Dr. Robin the shark. Tell me if you think that's a cool name. <laughs>